Ha <laughs> ha! Our search for new mates has produced another great success. Tallulah is not only a wonderful companion for our loyal pom-pom piddling friend, but with her exceptional intelligence, who knows how many other ways there will be for her to contribute to the future of our community. New ideas are what we desperately need to protect us from the foolishness that breeds in idle minds. Like the monster, which mushroomed in Sasha's imagination and then quickly spread like the Mies to cause fear and hysteria in the rest of us. Isn't this an interesting piece of wood? No! <laughs> Monkey puzzler! Put them back! They belong to Diamantina, not you! They are for my interesting pieces of wood collection. My mate Gertie keeps throwing them away, but I finds more. Here, what are you smelling for, you smelly old mammoth? It should be here soon. There's one every year at this time in Diamantina. Never fails. You wouldn't know, would you, newcomer, invader? What comes? What? From the frozen south. <laughs> ah, won't be long now. There it is, there! <laughs> Can't see a blinky thing. Begging your pardon, Captain Noah, ah, but you never said there'd be cold snaps. We was led to believe this was a sun drenched paradise. Archers likes it hot, you know. Oh, but it's rather bracing, don't you think, Squadron Leader? Oh, a definite improvement, I'd say. Noah, Noah, can't you smell it? Can't you feel it? An iceberg! It'll be here soon. It slides along the reef and will stop over there sometime tonight. <laughs> Do -do -do. News report! Excuse me. Special weather bulletin. Diamantina is now a terrible arctic place. Brrrski. Unsuitable for sunbathing. Do -do -do. End of report. Thank you for listening. Pickle. Just when I'm enjoying myself for the first time in years, see? And when her and me are getting on for once, the tundra falls on us, isn't it? And I have to follow my natural proclivities and go into hibernation. Not a hibernation! That's a stupid waste of time, that is, see? Say a hibernation again and I shall turn the ferocious. Hibernation, hibernation, hibernation! <sighs> That's not ferocious. This is ferocious. <laughs> Do -do -do! Emergency news report. Special tragic weather bulletin. An iceberg. Oisty. Look, look, you great whiskery lump. It's here. Oh, it's beautiful.
Well done, Gallio. Reg, as court chamberlain, it is your honor to give me my annual <laughs> ice rub down. Carry on. Rug power! Uh, is that okay, uh, Queenie Boss Frog? Very invigorating, Reg. Thank you. Uh, now that I'm a properly qualified frog, when are you going to start teaching me how to be a human being? Very soon, Reg. Of course, I've never actually seen a human being. Never seen one? But I know all about them. The most unfroggable creatures. All intelligence, no soul. No great queen. Gorg reports an excellent opportunity to be rid of unfroggables. There is an ice cave on this year's iceberg. If he can lead some unfroggables in there, he can trap them. <laughs> Reg, help my servant Gorm in this matter, and I shall tell you all the secrets of how to become a human being. Morris, inform me when the unfroggables are trapped in the ice. Is this your iceberg? Well, in a way. You got a license for it? Sheriff Wommy, a license isn't strictly necessary. Blinken is. Without a license for everything, there's chaos, anarchy. We may as well be fishy we don't have a license for everything. Are you applying for one? No, you are. It's your iceberg from now on. Mine? True, thanks, sport. I've never owned an iceberg before, or anything else, come to think of it. What do I do with it? You experience it. To the fool! Come on, Sparky, you can make it come to Reg. <laughs> Welcome the opportunity, excuse me, to speak of my tedious youth in the burrows and... Hibernation, see? I know a perfect place for hibernating in. Much better than this. Come with me. The fear of falling has never left me. And yet, a strange compulsion for high places, like giraffes' heads. Oh, I cannot see a giraffe without wishing for the declining one. has once more evaded me. Where is she? You think an adventure, Sasha? Shirley and him are going to help me experience my new fully licensed iceberg to the full. She takes me to the top, kicks me out of the basket, and I slides all the way down into the sea. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Come on, be a sport. Let's both do it. Oh, yes, you are right. After a tedious youth in the Ukraine, I should be grabbing at every one of life's possibilities. I embrace life! 
I know Queenie Boss Frog has ordered us to get rid of the unfroggables, but it's very cold in there. It's inhuman of us to do this to them. They're really very nice when you get to know them. They have destroyed the peace and sanctity of Diamantina. to find that the world has descended into another ice age, isn't it? Eternal freezer, have you? Ice and snow across the entire frozen, desolated world, see? Nonsense! We were in a cave in that perfidious iceberg. That evil old mammoth pushed us in. Well, that's another explanation. This blinking, awful, mountainous heap of frost must be gotten rid of. We've had enough of this polar bear weather when we was in Antarctic, and we want no more of it. Yeah, now uh, let's get rid of it. Not all animals like snow, you know. I got chillblains just standing here. My lips are all chapped, look. Oh, but an iceberg. The wind will change soon, carry it away. Let's enjoy it while we can. You see? <laughs> There's nothing more fun than an iceberg! <laughs> Remind me, please, wherefore am I doing this? My Uncle Dimitri, I confess, looked very like a lemming. Geronimo! Ursula. I, Mammoth's body, have defeated you, Gorm, in uh, trunk wrestling, and am therefore new leader of the herd. I command you, Gorm, to commence skating this instant. Well, not. Mammoth's body. Forget all about this leader of the herd stuff. You're both leader of the herd, which makes me all the herd there is, and I don't take any notice of either of you. <laughs> I'm leader of the herd, so there. Always will be. Skate, but I order you. <laughs> I'll show that good-for-nothing mammoth body who's leader. Here, you smelly whole mammoth. I found this here wombat in the sea drowned. I need your help. Shelly, let's do it again. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> uh, uh, Rocco, what was it? Oh, yes. A few moments ago, I happened to see a very interesting piece of wood. And I thought, well, now, that would interest my monkey puzzler friend. Huh? It's in there. Interesting piece of wood? Where? Rocco! Rocco! Here! What you lot doing in there? Right. Everyone yank bits of shagginess off Mammoth's body and put them on your feet. Got it? Mammoth slippers, just what the doctor ordered. 
Stop sucking your trunk and blow on it to tell Noah we're stuck in here. <laughs> Sorry, Rocco. I'm all snotty. Stuffed up with cold. Uh, all right, then. The jungle telegraph should do it. It's all right. Noah will find us soon. Keep skating. <laughs> Nowhere! Nowhere! Come and look! Captain Ski! Get us out of this! It's no use. He can't hear. This heist is feet thick. Rocco's saying they're caged, imprisoned, stuck. They must be inside the iceberg somewhere. Has anyone seen a cave opening anywhere? There was one, Noah. It collapsed when my father and I... Show me where, Salome. Action stations, everyone. Rosaruses, this way. Your servant Gorm reports to me, your great queen, that he has trapped many unfroggables in the ice cave. An excellent rabbit, two ferocious bears, wrench, mammoth's body, a gigantic Reg? gorilla. Reg? Did you say Reg? Oh, not Reg. He is my court chamberlain. Morris, arrange for Reg's release this instant. Fear not, Rita, dear. Morris will reunite us with our beloved Reg. Morris never fails. Don't worry, Rocco Pet. Your Gertie will save you. Oh, Noah. You and your iceberg are beating to slush. It's no use. There's too much ice. They'll all have frozen to death by the time we break through. I know what we'll do. No problem is so great that it cannot be solved by an intelligent rhino. And a fireball. Yes, yes, the fireball. We've given up. We are doomed, see. I have had many experiences, excuse me, of incarceration. Once in a termite's nest, even. Though of a melancholy disposition, I would advise that nothing is ever as bad as you think. Except, perhaps, this present situation. Reg, I'm your best pal. So I can say things to you nobody else can. These days you're behaving like a... Uh, uh, and everyone is gossiping about you. Well, uh, you're acting like um, a frog. Frog? Me? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's just a phase I'm going through. <laughs> It's all right. We'll catch it before it gets anywhere. Tallulah's plan can't fail. Gertie, get off the ice. Gertie! I'm staying put with Rocco. Come Noah, what's going on, laddie? Now, we had an extra powerful purple lava stone left. Where is it? Oh, that's Jasper's favourite. He'll never give it up. Right, Sunshine. As legally appointed Sheriff of Diamantina, I orders you to hand over that bauble. Throw it in with a fireball. <laughs> Eee, the rotten thing's melting. <laughs> Now, 
and melting it with the fireball. Is that you, my dear mate? Hetty, I thought you'd drowned. The ship sunk, but there's an island. We saw a island. No, it's me, Gertie. Come on, lover, come on. I would like to stay and thank you, Captain Ski, for saving my ratty little bacon, but I must not excuse me waste another minute sunbathing time. I've had enough of this diamantina place. If it's not one thing, it's another. Do you apologize for the iceberg? Uh, I apologize for the iceberg. work to do. And you've no authority over me. You're under arrest, Gormite, for pushing everyone into the ice cave. You'll stay put, or I'll set salami on you. Reg, Reg, my dear frogable friend. Morris never fails. Queenie Boss Frog, will you now tell me how to become a human? Like what you promised you would? All the world's secrets, I will tell you. Shh. First of all, 